you, Flashlight Enthusiast here. Today, the Astrolux EA01S, uh, which can be bought either in SST40 or XHP50.2 3 volt emitter version. Uh, this one I've got here from a friend to test and review from our Polish Enthusiast group. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and without further ado, let's show you the box. This is obviously probably bought uh, on banggood.com. Uh, here you've got uh, assigned what version do you have. As you can see right now on the screen, we've got black, gray and blue versions available. SSD 40, XHP 50.2. Uh, and the good thing is that uh, you got even short tube available. Uh, and I think it is actually included in the set already so mm, I didn't got this one unfortunately I got only the light so I will show you what you've got uh, apart from the light right here on the screen so pretty good set of accessories and uh, let me just show you uh, the box here plain cardboard and inside voila the flashlight itself already loaded with the 26650 battery, the grey version here, and uh, this one is the 11,000 lumen XHP 50.2 LED 3 volt emitter version, uh, 6500K. So, as you can see, the design is pretty straightforward, very elegant, even uh, I might say. The blue LEDs under the switch, uh, grey matte finish, uh, pretty good knurling here, not very aggressive. Uh, I really like the design and uh, well, here we've got the USB-C charging port. Mm, I will talk about it a little bit later. Uh, a little bit of cooling fins, uh, but this flashlight does not heat up that much if you do not allow it. Stainless steel bezel with slight crenulation, so when you light it up, you can actually see that it is turned on. Nice design, I like that one. Uh, this ring is pretty interesting, uh, looks almost like a rotationable magnetic uh, rotary switch. Very nice, but the main switch is obviously here, the side switch. Uh, here we've got some engravings of the International and European Certificates uh, and Astrolux logo. Uh, the EA01S model engraved here, and apart from that, no knurling whatsoever. Even no hot sign mark here on the bezel, no, not really. Uh, and lanyard attachment right here, and I believe the lanyard is included in the set, okay? So let's just unscrew the tail cup and show you the threads. These are well-designed Astrolux square threads or rectangular threads, as you may see. Well greased from the factory, O-ring is good fitting, so good job Astrolux! Okay, double spring, quite thick, so low resistance should be achieved here. And uh, I'm running it on a key power 5500 mAh 26650 battery. So, uh, as you can see, max pulse 30 amps and constant 15 amps. So, should be sufficient for this one. And uh, here we've got uh, flat contact down below, as you may see. And what is interesting is Astrolux actually included the possibility here to flush the newer firmware. So definitely appreciated by some enthusiasts, okay, to update the firmware. So without further ado, uh, here the threads are non-anodized. So, well, it is acceptable. Okay, that, that's, that's okay, that's okay. Basically, what you will do is you will leave it as it is here and unscrew it only from the tail side, okay? The magic goes like this, plus sign to the head, and then align the threads. Not so smooth, but I believe they are already a little bit dirty, so uh, I wouldn't suspect it from the factory. This is the used light, so bear in mind that it might change a little bit uh, from the factory condition, okay? <clears throat> so, first things first, let's look at the reflectors. Oh my gosh, this is a very compact flashlight. And for such power, uh, the reflectors are quite deep, mind you. And the four XHP 50.2 of these, the 3 volt version, uh, are accommodated on a very low surface. So, uh, it should heat up 
quite quickly and it really does okay uh, smooth reflectors so uh, the throw should be a little bit better than an orange peel but on the other hand the uh, artifacts might not be as smooth and uh, soften up uh, a little bit of anti-reflective coating as you may see here a little bit like purplish I guess uh, so bluish accent might be visible in the tint okay so that that's probably it uh, in terms of size this is quite compact as we see it sits well in the hand and in terms of comparison to other similar flashlight 26650 I would say the MSR DAA4 SV2 is a good comparison as you may see a little bit bulkier but shorter uh, in terms of head size pretty similar also a quad LED so this is this is the size comparison as you may see here and returning to the Astrolux let's just go briefly through the UI real quick so one click for on one click for off when the flashlight is off hold the switch to enter the lowest mode then hold the switch again to cycle through step modes or one two three to enter the smooth ramping so hold the switch to change the brightness and then you can also double tap for insane turbo mode oh my god it's blinding okay one click for off and then if you like to check the voltage then triple click from off one two three and then count one two three four pause one so 4.1 volts and that is your battery voltage remember 4.2 volts is full battery 3.0 is almost depleted the underreal has their low voltage protection when the battery voltage goes down to 2.8 the flashlight should turn off automatically to not uh, fully discharge uh, the battery uh, below the safe level okay so everything is perfectly safe uh, in case of battery you should probably use unprotected 26650 because of the length and uh, obviously uh, to achieve the full potential because the protected uh, <coughs> PCB would limit the current going to the LEDs and driver thus limiting the potential okay uh, so <coughs> in terms of measured lumens you can see them right now on the screen so as you can see uh, I measured this one in seven stepped mode and the turbo mode so one lumen 30 lumens 106 378 1340 then 2800 4880 and in turbo mode in peak performance on this particular kip power battery i measured 9570 lumens which is a little bit lower than the declared 11000 lumens by the astrolux but still an amazing and respectable performance from such a compact flashlight i could easily call it an edc because <clears throat> well it is very compact obviously it won't be the size of the noctigon kr4 for example but still in the jacket pocket it will lie comfortably and you won't feel it because it's pretty lightweight also okay when the battery is fully depleted you may always use the built-in USB-C charging point to charge the the battery as you can see right now on the screen the charging is quite quick and uh, after a couple of hours the battery is already nice and loaded fully charged so uh, I would uh, if you don't own your own charger that is definitely a good choice to charge the battery inside the flashlight I always appreciate the USB-C charging port inside the flashlight especially the, the rubber cover sits quite tightly so good job Astrolux here definitely good job I appreciate that okay so let's just go to the runtime graphs real quick turbo runtime graph here as you may see i measured uh, as i said 9570 kilometers in startup as you may see the step down occurred after three minutes and 11 seconds so this is insane definitely insane amount of runtime in case of turbo step down uh, from 7970 lumens over the next 90 seconds to around one 180 and lumens which is extremely weird as you can see down there it almost turned off the flashlight just to increase the brightness even more so i suspect some thermal problems as in terms of many astrolux flashlight uh well it is as it is but uh, it doesn't uh undermine the true performance of this flashlight so then uh, after stabilizing the output it tried to uh hold around 
1500 lumens for one and a half hours, which is still quite good. And then obviously you can swap the batteries. So nice, good performance. Okay, and now the high mode here, we've got uh, 6580 lumens measured. So this is the max RAM default settings. And here, um, surprisingly, two minutes, 46 seconds before the step down occurs. So definitely weird because the turbo could hold a little bit longer. Well, something suspicious happened here, but never mind. 5,997 lumens before the step down over the next three minutes. So very slow step down and a gradual. So you might not notice this one uh, much slower than from turbo mode, which is uh, justified. But again, 1,158 lumens uh, at the lowest point. So again, weird behavior. Uh, faulty driver or thermal regulation inside the driver probably the thermal sensor is probably uh, too close to the MCPCB and that's why it performs as you can see right now on the screen so 58 degrees max temperature recorded 70 degrees Celsius set in the thermal limit in Unreal so pretty uh, standard performance from the Unreal flashlight 1222 lumens for around 130 uh, minutes is good respectable result for a flashlight this size okay guys so uh, pretty good result obviously no fireworks here but well it is as it is for a flashlight this size and especially for the price uh, quite good and respectable result okay so let's just go to the forest and show you some beam shots of this astrolux ea01s this is the default turn on mode Let's go to the max ramp and now the turbo mode. Wow, this is definitely a wall of light flashlight type. A little bit of hotspot, but mainly diffuse light, as you may see. A little bit turning on so that you may see the hotspot, but basically a uh, wall of light. Very bright side light with uh, a little bit of throw just because of the sheer output, but uh, uh, good for illuminating a path in front of you, maybe uh, right, 100, 150 meters, but definitely no more. So a universal beam pattern for close-up situations and illuminating huge areas like open fields. All right. All right, so now the D4 SV2 com for comparison. This is the max ramp output. And now let's go to the turbo mode. So definitely <laughs> a bit different beam pattern as you may see here. Uh, more hotspot focused and uh, overall the well the, the lumen level is uh, like 50% lower but uh, much more thrower so much more universal beam pattern not only for open up rears but also for such forest paths like this one okay again max ramp and then let's ramp down to a default turn on All right, summing up, um, quite good, powerful pocket rocket from Astrolux. Uh, obviously, they had some disadvantages of this particular design, but uh, for me, for this price, when you're looking for a pocket rocket, this might be an interesting option for you. So, guys, definitely recommending this one to you uh, with some reservations but i hope i addressed them all in this video so if you're looking for a pocket rocket with undrill and uh, cool white emitters then definitely check out this astrolux ea01s if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section down below uh, hit the like button hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the channel algorithm uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one